Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. Welcome to this edition of Topic of the Day. So today we are going to discuss about the genetically modified crops. Now this has come up in news as recently genetically modified cow pea has cleared the first of three regulatory hurdles in the way of commercialization in Ghana. Now Ghana is a country in African continent. Now prior to this Nigeria was the first country in the world to grow genetically modified cow pea. So what is the significance of cow pea in Ghana? Cow pea or the black eyed pea or as we call it lobia in Hindi is a major source of protein in Ghana and the rest of the subcontinent. It is integral to Ghana's food security and it is the fifth largest producer of cow pea in Africa. Now if we talk about the rationale behind genetic modification of cow pea so genetically modified cow pea has been genetically engineered to resist the maruka pod borer. So what is a maruka pod borer? Now the maruka pod borer is a type of it is the insect pest and it generally feeds on leguminous crops. So in the confined field trials genetically modified cow pea has suffered less damage from the maruka pod borer than the non-genetically modified cow pea. Further on, if Ghana commercializes this genetically modified version of cow pea, it will join Nigeria as the second country in the world to grow it. So what are the genetically modified crops? These are the type of crops whose DNA has been altered through genetic engineering or which is also known as genome engineering by adding a new trait in the plant which does not occur naturally. So across the world there are genetically modified variants available of rice, maize and even canola. Canola now is a sort of mustard that is also known as white mustard. So the International Rice Research Institute that is IRRI it was established in the year 1960. It is an international body and it is headquartered in Philippines. So this has developed golden rice to address vitamin A deficiency. Now the golden rice has been assessed to be as safe as ordinary rice with the added benefit of beta carotene. Beta carotene that is found in vitamin A. Now in the South and Southeast Asian countries where at least half of the daily caloric intake is obtained from rice, golden rice can help in fighting against the VAD that is the vitamin A deficiency and that is particularly among the people who depend mostly on rice for their nourishment. Now what are the advantages of genetically modified crops? First of all it improves production and it raises the farmer's income. It also reduces the use of pesticides and insecticides during farming. It can feed a rapidly increasing population. So we can also have more produce of the genetically modified crops in the small areas of land. Now let us talk about some of the disadvantages. So any species whose gene has been genetically modified imposes high risk to the disruption of ecosystem and biodiversity. It also disrupts the natural gene flow and further on it can also lead to increase in the cost of cultivation and inadequate safety assessments. Allergic reactions can also be one of the major disadvantages because of the altered DNA and also there can be increase in the antibiotic resistance. Now let us talk about some of the genetically modified crops in India. First of all we have the Bt cotton. So India has approved the commercial cultivation of only one genetically modified crop and that is the Bt cotton. So Bt cotton has been genetically modified by the insertion of one or more gene from a common soil bacterium that is named as Bacillus thuringiensis. Another one is Bt brinjal. So here the gene permits the plant to resist attacks from fruit and shoot borers. Another one is the Bt mustard that is put on hold for now. Now let us talk about the legal position of genetically modified crops in India. First of all the GEAC that is the Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee is the apex body that allows for commercial release of the genetically modified crops and it works under the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Further on if we talk about the regulation of imported crops it was initially under the Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee itself. But after the coming of Food Safety and Standards Act 2006, the FSSAI, that is the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, was asked to take over approvals of the imported goods. Now the use of the unapproved genetically modified variant can attract a jail term of 5 years and a fine of around 1 lakh that is under the Environment Protection Act of 1989. Now let us take up one practice question from this topic. In India, which of the following can be commercially and legally grown? First, golden rice, Bt brinjal, we have DMH11 mustard and then we have Bt cotton. You can choose the correct option from the codes given below. 
You can take a moment and write your answers in the comment section below. So the correct answer is option D that is only 4 or only BT cotton can be commercially and legally grown in India. Therefore the correct answer is option D only. And with this we call it a wrap of today's edition of topic of the day. I hope you liked the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow till then take care and do stay tuned. Well with this we call it a wrap of today's edition of topic of the day. You can find the articles related to this topic that is genetically modified crops, BT cotton and gene editing in the daily current affairs section on our website. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow till then take care and do stay tuned. Yeah.